first step what we need to do is downloading git for windows this allowed us to download special source code that we'll later install so let's go ahead going to the git for windows.org and click download button after download completed we'll go ahead and open installation and just follow the prompt so I want to install on the C drive just everything by default okay let's go ahead continue and you notice right here we have it additional icon I will just add one put it on a desktop so I can access when I need it and I think rest is about same browse git okay we have it use the VM so we want to do let's get guide yep we'll go with this one git from command line recommended we'll go just almost everything by default we want bundle with a SSH search library check out windows usually what i check when i go through this installation that does not install a third party software like for example toolbar for your browser or something else this is usually what i just be sure we don't have it any of those sneaky things but this is a kind of clean and we'll go to system management we don't care about self the consoles and let's go ahead and click installing when it's completed let's go ahead and click launch bash and open if you're not familiar with the terminals or anything we're just going easy step by step what to do here we're going to create a new directory and i call ai stable diffusion you can name as you like it this is where our program will locate it all our, our code and everything so i'm right click and says copy as a path in this case next we're going to navigate so we'll go cd space and we'll paste the path delete any weird characters that we have it and now you can see we relocated in this specific folder the next you want to download the proper code if you're going on github and look for topics stable diffusion you find many many different variations for example, this is variations compreviews, which is actually work okay. But one I recommend for you for now, just going with the automatic one 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 stable diffusion. I will provide link below. Next, what we want to do here, go on a code and click down and copy this this path right here. You can see. Okay. Also, you not necessarily would require log in to receive this link but i highly recommend for you to create account and log in because you will have it issues when you start accessing from github for windows next we're going back to our terminal and we're going to type git clone and at this point we can right click and paste path that we just copied so let's go ahead after this press enter right now going connect to this github um, database and downloading all of this code from there the current branch and try to put it install on our machine at this point when it's done we actually have this copy or clone of the code that people created on our machine so next when you're going to the hugging face.co i will provide link below for you and from here we needed downloaded the latest version of the stable diffusion and you can see right on the, on the side it will show stable diffusion 1.4 again for this one i would recommend to create account and log in as well so let's go ahead click on this okay it's already directs to page we're going all the way down right here where we have the access repository you want to check the box that you read license agreement with this term and let's go click access repository in some cases the weights can be located up front if they don't we will probably have a redirect like at this point and we can just click and we go inside and you can see download weights we want to download sd v14 skp so let's go click on this one and it's downloading just let you know this is actually quite a bit large and it's all described uh, describe. what it does it's assigned weight image and related to the text 
Okay, just let you know, this is about four gigabyte file, so it may take a little bit time to download. Another thing is what we want to download it, it's a GF game, which is work a little bit with the faces and it help work with the portraits. If you work previously with early versions of Disk Diffusion, you know how sometimes faces have this weird look, eyes and all that stuff. So this is a specific module which allowed to us work a little bit better with the faces. So again, these links will be provided below. And what do you want to do when you come on this link? Go down here and we'll see currently it's 1.4 latest model. So click on this to download this as well. After finish downloading this, you'll notice it's a Python extension. So we obviously need to go in a Python or download and download it latest version. Currently it is 3.17. So we go ahead and download this. And when you download it, be sure you're downloading for your OS. Currently, it is detected because I'm on Windows. It detects my Windows and allowed me downloading the latest version for the Windows. If you work on Linux or Mac OS, please select properly version. After it's done, let's go ahead, click and install Python on machine. Things what we want to do is be sure the path is included. So we'll go check on this one. And let's go ahead and click on install now. Next, we need to take those files that we just downloaded and move them in properly directory. So first, on this stable diffusion web UI, we'll take the GFP gang and move it to this area. And after inside the folder, stable diffusion, model stable diffusions, we'll take this SDK and just move it in this area. Okay, next step after we finish copying, we want to go inside main stable diffusion web UI and we want to run web UI user batch file. Okay, let's double tap, click open. And notice right here we're executing our Python and creating directory. Okay, and this batch will actually perform a lot of installations. So we'll can kind of wait and see after the installation is completed. This is actually going to take quite a bit of time to installations. It's depend on a, how fast your computer, your connections and uh, hard drive. You'll notice it's well downloaded. So this should be take maybe anywhere from 20 to 40 minutes. If it's take a little bit longer, it's maybe pause, just press enter so it can continue. Okay, so like I said, it's take a little bit time to download. Okay. After installation is completed, we need going inside and you can see right here we have a URL that what we needed. And it's always will be your local host. So it's a 127.0.1. But what most important the support it's running on. And this last four numbers, it is the port. So remember 7860. Okay, so we'll go inside the browser, tap the our address. And here we access to the web interface for the server that currently running on our machine. Okay, so let's go ahead, select the checkpoint stable diffusion. If you have more than one version, so you can actually select different version, but we run 1.4. So let's go ahead and try uh, generate it. So we'll go into we'll just select anything that we wanted. So the same steps. And the nice things about this, because it's running on your machine, you can select as much as you want it. So we'll just pop up quite a bit steps. Okay, we'll leave it sampling method. Same, we can go after the settings with and high 512 should work okay for now. We don't care about um, tiling, faces, batch size count. So we'll just keep it all as the same. Okay, and when we're done, let's go ahead and click render. Depend on how fast is your GPU and how fast is your machine. You can actually see it's progressing. And uh, notice I have it quite a bit of the sampling steps. The more sampling steps, the better quality will be. But you can try always with lower and see if it's work for you. Okay, so it done rendering. And if you're going inside the stable diffusion folder, outputs, text to images, you can find the image is here. So we can go ahead, open and preview. This is image that generated 
by a stable diffusion that installed on your local machine. Okay, and that is all. You can experiment with different output, experiment with image to image and different options, but we're going about all of these settings and other things in our another videos. Thank you and have a fun time to creating your art.